All right, so in today's Nautica video, I will be ranking almost every vehicle mod that we have available for Subnautica. We're only including mods that are available to the general public and everybody can access. So we have a total of 21 mods on this list, I believe, and we're also including legacy mods for this video as well. So stick around for that because there are some awesome looking legacy mods. Yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the first mod that we have on today's list. All right, so the first submarine that we have on today's list is going to be the R5, aka the Renault 5 submersible submarine mod, which adds this little, you know, this like little mini car submarine into Subnautica. The reason that this mod is so very low on the list, because in my opinion, it doesn't, it doesn't fit into the world of Subnautica, nor does it look all that interesting or anything like that in general. It's just a really, really small car that you can drive around in and like it can be cool if you're like a car fanatic and you like vehicles and whatnot like real life cars because i believe this submarine is based off of a real life car and it's just been like converted into submarine form which it does look pretty cool in a submarine form but i don't really like care too much for the real life car so it's really just like to me it's just like a really small car mod which is you know compared to all the other stuff all the other like subnautica submarine mods that we have and whatnot this one's just kind of like basic it is pretty well detailed though because you got the like little headlights right here they got some glass we got a little symbol right here got some little mini wings on the side the back lights are all lit up you know like the red is lit white is lit you know that's really really nice attention to detail there we got the fans on the back and then we got whatever the freak this is on the top I guess it's like a radio in case you want to listen to some music while you're driving around we got a nice little steering wheel the, the inside's pretty detailed as well we can see like the dash has some detailing as well to it so that's really nice so overall you know it's a really nice looking detailed submarine and all that jazz the submarine has a base depth of 250 meters and it also moves at a pretty decent speed it's like a the handling and speed of the submarine is virtually identical to the seamoth's handling and stuff so yeah overall pretty nice submarine pretty decent as well but it's not exactly my cup of tea hence why it ended up a little bit lower on this list that doesn't mean it's a bad submarine by any means and with the r5 submarine covered we can move on to our next submarine on today's list all right so the next submarine that we have on today's list is going to be the cricket modded submersible mod which adds a new you know cricket submarine to the game it's a really small it's this really small and compact submarine but it's also super detailed as we can see it's kind of like it's kind of more realistic in nature i would say because we can see like it's really like dirty it's got some more realistic textures to it like this looks like something i would actually see in real life with like the warning labels and all that it says lp gas summit on it so it looks more realistic in nature with all the material and stuff. I mean, look at this, look at this back here. Look at the fan, the way it looks all like worn out and stuff. It looks super awesome looking. We got this like little grill back here. You know, overall really, really detailed and nice looking submarine on the texture side. All right, so this is what the cockpit of the Cricket submarine looks like. It's got a base depth of 250 meters, which is exactly the same as the R5 submarine. And the inside of the submarine has this really clean looking all white seat, which sort of like contrasts with the dirty look of the outside of the submarine. We'll also See, like these little panels right here and this looks like there's a sonar on the right side and i don't know what the heck that is on the left side i don't really see anything that resembles a steering wheel on the inside or anything like that all right now the speed of the cricket submarine is actually a little bit slower than that of the seamoth it looks like because it looks like it's going a little bit slower slow enough to be noticed you know it's not it's not like drastically slower than the seamoth but it is a little bit slower to where you can actually feel it and be like yeah this thing is most definitely a little bit slower it's got a base step of 250 meters i'm not really sure how i feel about about this cockpit because like this big old line that like sort of just sits in front of me is kind of it's a little bit distracting you know just a little distracting considering it's like in the dead center of the screen of all places but overall this cockpit is pretty decent to look at you have a pretty decent visibility of what's all around you i just wish that this giant like bar in front of me wasn't there you know of all places i really wish it was like at the top or bottom of the screen or something but you know it's okay you can access the upgrades for the submarine by heading around to the back side of it and just clicking right here and it's got four upgrade modules now it does not come with its own storage which is a unique thing that the cricket submarine actually has so it's like this little thing called a cricket container and whenever you have it you know built and whatnot it'll just float in the middle of nowhere and to attach it to your submarine you just hover over it and you just hold f and it'll show you it also show you like how far away the meter or not the meter how far away the container is to help you sort of like guide yourself to it okay there we go i said it was ready wait no 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 boom all right, now it's attached. It'll attach the container to your Cricut submarine. There's also like a little light on the front, which is where the light for the submarine is coming out of, which is the nice attention to detail right there. That was the Cricut modded submarine. And with that, we can move on to our next submarine mod. All right, so the next modded submarine that we have on today's list is going to be the CB modded submarine mod. This really small and cute looking submersible right here. It's super, super tiny. 
The back of it does have like this nice little glowing thing on the back, which, you know, really looks really, really nice. Nice little attention to detail there. You know, overall look of this submarine is relatively basic, but I kind of like it just because of how unique and tiny and funny it looks. It's got a base depth of 300 meters and the cockpit is pretty, you know, pretty decent to look at or look out of, you know, because we can see just about everything. And there's also like this little circle around us showing that we're inside of something. I have covered this mod before and it still stands as one of the fastest submarine mods that you have available to you. I'm just going to show you the movement speed right now. We're in the water and the submarine can also fly. So that is another, you know, cool feature about this submarine. So we're moving super, super fast in the water right now, as we can all see. Now, if we head up out the water, now we're flying around. It's a really, really fun submarine to drive around because of how fast it is. And it can also turn pretty well as well. So yeah, this is the CB modded submarine. And with that, we can move on to our next submarine mod. All right, so the next modded submarine that we have on today's list is going to be the Crush Drone, which technically is not a submarine. It's actually a drone, making it one of the most, or one of the more unique mods on the Subnautica Nexus, because it's not going to be a submarine that you control you know, by being inside of it, but one that you can control from a distance. And I keep having my character show up. So looking at the appearance of the Crush Drone, it's a really detailed model. You know, we can see this got some nice detailing and attention to detail on these sides. We got these like little claw arms right here that look super awesome. These two like giant little circles on the submarine sort of look like its eyes or either these could be the eyes or these little white things could be the eyes but i'm pretty sure these little white circles right here are the eyes are the eyes what are the lights of the submarine we can access the storage of the submarine by heading over to the top of it and just opening it like so it's got some pretty small storage we can access the upgrades by hitting these little like circular thing or not circular these like cylinder looking things on the left and right hand sides of the back of the submarine that's how you access the upgrades and we can also replace its arms right here because you can, this thing does have different arms that you can equip. Now to actually pilot and control the crush drone, you have to build a control panel and either, you can build it in either a like big mobile submarine like the Cyclops, or you can build it in your base. So we got this little drone station right here. It'll show us the status of our drone. It'll show us its HP how much power it has and we can also connect it or we can cycle through different drones so if we just connect to this drone now we can move it around we can control it do whatever we want with it so we can go up to different things like these creatures right here so if we go up to this acid mushroom for example we can actually pick it up using our crush drone and your crush drone can just sort of act like a, an extension of yourself essentially so you can actually explore things pick up resources gather things using this drone without having to put yourself in harm's way so if you have like a really dangerous biome and you don't want to like send yourself in there you can use this crush drone you can just send this in here the crush drone also has this like return home feature to where if you hit tab i'm going to demonstrate right now so if we hit tab on our keyboard it's going to take me out of this little menu and the crush drone is just automatically going to come back to wherever the drone station is so we can see it's on its way back right now which is super super convenient because you know it allows you you don't have to like drive the drone all the way back after like expeditions yourself but yeah this is the crush drone mod and with that we can move on to our next mod on today's list all right moving on to our next vehicle mod on today's list we have the atrauma submarine mod now this mod is a little bit larger than the last ones that we were just looking at the atrauma is a medium-sized submarine as we can see right here it's a little bit long in nature i would say because it's not really like wide or anything like that but it is a submarine that you will be able to stand up in so that's nice it's got some really nice exterior details with all these like little lines that show the different parts of the submarine we got some black sections of the submarine that sort of set it apart from like the regular brown color because black and brown looks is a beautiful color combination in my opinion the back of the submarine does have this like little fan back here which is a nice attention to detail that i always appreciate and if we look on the sides of the submarine it also shows that we have some storage right here so we click right here we have a really really large amount of storage in the submarine which is super awesome i believe there's two things of storage one on the left side and one on the right side so moving to the inside of the submarine it's very clean in here nothing really too too crazy we can move around walk around in here that's nice i appreciate that these four thingies right here are the power cells for this submarine now the most detailed part about the interior of the submarine is actually going to be the seat the piloting seat so if we look at this piloting seat right here it almost looks like a seat that would that you would see in like a like a jet or something because you got all these like little seat belt straps and stuff to like sort of hold you down keep you from flying out we got like these little buttons on the left and right hand sides of the submarine the seat also looks kind of high techy with all this like 
texture and gear on the side and whatnot. So the submarine has a base depth of 900 meters, which is, you know, pretty good as well. And the acceleration for this thing is fairly slow, but the cockpit does not have anything like that we can actually see while we're driving around. So it's kind of just like, you know, blank. And we're kind of just looking at the glass straight through. Maybe like the same speed as the Seamoth, or it might be going like a little bit slower than the Seamoth. And yeah, with that, we can move on to our next submarine mod. All right, so the next submarine mod that we have on today's list is going to be the SMA-17 Numi mod, which actually isn't really a submarine. It's more of a military jet. Really nice camouflage all over. It gives it a really unique color scheme when you compare it to any other modded vehicle in the game, essentially, because I don't think there's another modded vehicle that has, you know, like a camouflage going on for us. So that's super awesome. The inside of the engine actually has a little area of its own as well. So that's super nice little attention to detail that, you know, the average person most definitely would not find because who's about to be ghosting through their own submarine, you know? If we look at the inside, the cockpit of the submarine has a really detailed interior because we can see all these like different gauges and readers all showing like different types of information while you're flying around. The submarine has a base depth of 30 meters and the reason the pay step is so low is because the thing can fly. So that's the main way you're gonna be using it. So if you head out the water like so, you just keep going forward it'll automatically let you fly around like so now another neat thing about this jet mod is the fact that this jet can actually hover instead of just being able to only fly like most of the you know flying vehicle mods can this one can actually hover so if we just i can slow down if you slow down enough and you kind of just sit here we can see i'm just sort of hovering above the water but yeah this is the numi jet mod and with that we can head on to our next mod on this list the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the odyssey vehicle mod which adds you know this nice looking submarine to the game it's incredibly incredibly detailed if we look around all on the outside we can see it's got a nice little altera color scheme with the white with the primary color being white then you have this big old like blue stripe over the top of the submarine and then got the little orange streaks all the nice altera colors we got some little lights up here which again all aren't really that high of resolution but we can still appreciate the fact that the mod creator tried you know to make the outside detailed the upgrades for the submarine are found on the left hand side of the submarine so if we head over here on the left hand side this little thing will open up and we can insert our upgrades right here and then if we head over to the right side we have our autopilot battery right here that we can unload and load up all right the inside of the submarine is also super detailed as well we got all these really nice looking line lights the inside of it is well lit we have these storage lockers that are labeled storage locker and we have four of them they have some pretty decent storage and they also have their own animation as well i really really like that look at that whenever they open they sort of slide open that's really nice comes with its own fabricator and this is where all the main power cells for the vehicle lies back here and has a total of four and then you can also recolor the submarine right here if you want and you can rename it as well so let's just name it hi how are you so this is a nice unique feature that this one has over the others we can just barely see the terminal like our little steering wheel down there at the very bottom the submarine is a fairly slow one i will say that much because I'm, I'm moving at max speed that i possibly can and it's still moving pretty pretty slower on the slower side of things so a little bit of a difference there whenever we compare it to the submarines that we were just looking at the base depth of the submarine is 600 meters overall like this submarine and with that we can move on to our next mod all right so the next vehicle mod that we have on today's list is going to be the mantis class precursor submarine mod adds a new precursor submarine to your game. This thing looks amazing. So starting at the exterior, we have all the nice looking precursor engravings all over the sides, backs, top, bottom of the entire submarine, giving it that nice precursor vibe. It also has that green like sort of backdrop behind it. The hatch for the submarine is on the top. We can see it right there. It's got this nice, nice little square, makes it really easy to identify. We will also see the engine back here, another big old square with a bunch of precursor, you know, engravings and all that stuff around it. The text the textures of the submarine are almost like um like a smooth stone type of texture which is really kind of kind of cool and unique to look at you know but on the inside of the submarine we have one two three four we have five storage modules overall super super nice and then back here is where our power cells go i believe this thing runs off of four power cells total and then if we head up to the front we'll see another terminal right here on our left which is where the upgrades are this thing only has two upgrade slots but we can see the max depth is 2,000. That's the base depth for the submarine. It's 2,000 meters. Oh, but this thing is kind of speedy. Yeah, this thing is, it does move kind of fast. Looks like it's moving a little bit faster than the Seamoth does. The light is also green on this precursor submarine. So that's super nice. Nice attention to detail there as well. And it can turn 
you know, pretty, pretty sharply. It is a little bit buggy. Like whenever you're walking around on the inside, I sort of like clipped through and I just started like floating around on the inside. The AI voice on the inside is also extremely loud. So, I mean, you can try to use this thing in like a survival game, but for me, it would be a little bit too buggy. And yeah, overall, really nice submarine, even if it is a little bit buggy. And with that, we can move on to our next submarine slash vehicle mod. All right, so the next submarine slash vehicle mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Eureka Private Jet mod. And this thing is super detailed from the outside at a first glance that we can all see. So it has that same Altera color scheme. We got the white streaks. I said white streaks, what? We got the orange streaks, you know, plastered all over the submarine. We've got one right there, one on the other side. We got this orange part right here, orange. And then the blue streaks all over the submarine with the primary color being white. And then if we look at the engines, the engines are also super detailed as well. We got the fans in here with this like little glue. Did I say glue? <laughs> with this little blue underglow behind it. And then if we look at the rear of the engine, there's an even bigger blue glow back here. I don't think this vehicle has any storage though, and you can enter it from virtually anywhere. So let's just hop and sign so moving to the interior of this vehicle we can see that we have like a nice little chair right here it's got a smooth texture to it and then we have the steering wheel right in front of the seat which sort of looks like the same steering wheel that the odyssey had i think i think it looks like it but it's like it's a little bit less detailed and then if we look behind all this we can also see the outline of what appears to be a little door back here so this vehicle has a base depth of 10 meters which you know super awful because you're going to be flying it around most of the time which is why the base depth is so low you'll be able to fly just like you would with any other mod that can fly and whatnot so that's super super cool however unlike the numi mod you cannot hover but overall this thing moves at a pretty decent speed just like the other flying submarine mods did so super super cool there but yeah this is the eureka private jet mod and with that we can move on to our next mod all right so the next submarine mod that we have on today's list is going to be the wraith submarine mod which looks just like a upgraded seamoth essentially that's why i like it so much because i really like the look of the regular seamoth so this one just takes the seamoth's look and sort of enhances it makes it look a whole lot better if I see my character one more time. So the Wraith submarine does have some nice detailing on the outside. As we can see, we got all these like nice little lines. Again, stuck with a nice Altera color scheme with the yellow and blue streaks with the white being the primary color of the submarine. We also have some nice lights on the very front of it, which look nice. There are two on each side for a total of four. And then if we head around to the back of the submarine, is there anything back here? Uh, maybe a little fan in there, let's see. There's not much going on at the back of the submarine, like where the engine is, that's okay. We head on the inside of the submarine. It's really, really tight, really tight fit in here. We got two little knobs over here, one to the right and one to the left, probably for, you know, controls and whatnot. And we have two screens, one to the left and one to the right. And we also have the same steering wheel as the Eureka. All right, the submarine has a base depth of 100 meters because again, this is another flying submarine. So the base depth and overall depth of the submarine is not gonna be able to go very deep. When compared to the other flying submarine mods, this one is actually a little bit slower. And I feel like it would make sense if that is the case because this is a smaller submarine with a smaller smaller engine you know so the engine probably isn't going to be nearly as strong as the engines on like the Eureka or the Numi jet but despite all that it's still a super super awesome looking submarine and it plays super nicely as well so yeah this is the Wraith submarine mod and with that we can move on to our next vehicle mod all right so the next modded vehicle that we have on today's list is going to be the Amarok modded precursor submarine just like the last precursor submarine so the detailing on this one is a little more spread out and I kind of appreciate that so so all around these sides of the submarine we can see that there's a bunch of precursor engravings as we can see right here it doesn't have like a backdrop like a green backdrop like the mantis class submarine does but again that's okay that's 100 fine because it has all these other green lights all over the outside of the submarine sort of make up for that further contributing to the precursor vibe of the entire submarine it also has some really nice shapes to it that give it that again super wacky precursor vibe because the precursor stuff is a lot you know um uh, how do i how do i uh, how do i describe it they're just more crazy in nature and this sub submarine sort of like supports that you can find the hatch to enter the submarine on the left hand side as we can see it's indicated right here because it's like big old square right here which i can appreciate so let's just head on inside so now that we're inside we can see we have four things of storage two on the left and two on the right we walk through and then we have this like nice little glass area where we can see everything out and around us super super nice more precursor engravings and such right here and this little area back here is where our upgrades are so this big old terminal pedestal thingy majiggy right here is where our upgrades go and then to the left and to the right is where the power cell batteries power cell batteries huh 
This this where the power cells go. Gosh, I don't know what I just said. Oh, I didn't even realize they each have like their own little thing above them. That's kind of that's sort of nice. Now if we look at the pilot seat, it has a sort of smoother texture. And then we have this big old terminal right here, which looks super, super awesome. The submarine moves at a pretty decent speed as well, especially considering how big it is, you know, because it's a pretty it's a longer submarine in nature, and it's also a little bit larger. So it does move at a pretty decent speed for its size. Overall, the Amrock is a really nice precursor submarine mod, and it also is a newer mod. You wouldn't be able to tell, I feel like, considering the quality and way this thing looks. So yeah, this is the Amrock modded precursor submarine, and with that, we can move on to our next vehicle mod. All right, so the next vehicle mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Blade Class submarine mod. This mod just recently got an update, and it looks freaking gorgeous. So all over the top and bottom of the submarine, we can see that this thing has a bunch of awesome looking precursor sub precursor submarines <laughs> a bunch of precursor symbols all over the top and bottom of the submarine giving it you know adding to that precursor vibe that the submarine already has it's sort of shaped if we look at it from a top down view it's sort of shaped like a fighter jet and all the lights on the exterior of the submarine also pop out really well probably because of the dark color that the mod creator chose to use for the primary color of the submarine which looks super awesome Got these awesome looking line lights on the side. And again, we have that super clean looking glass, like it's brand new. And then we enter the submarine from the bottom. We can see that there's a little circle right here that indicates the hatch of the submarine. So it's nice and easy to find. Always appreciate that. So we have two things of storage, one on the left and one on the right hand side right here. All told, we got some pretty decent storage in here. My goodness. We got four power cells total, two on the left side and two on the right side. And then we access our upgrades by looking at this big old pedestal slash terminal back here you can have a total of five upgrades in this thing and the base step for the submarine is 500 meters which is pretty decent pretty decent base step now if we look at the cockpit the seat of the submarine is actually a little bit detailed as well because it has these like little line lights right here so that's a nice little feature we have that terminal right in front of us so let's just hop on the pilot seat and we will see the cockpit it is sort of similar to that of the amrox with the whole like terminal at the bottom and stuff but the terminal in this one does not obscure the vision nearly as much like the roof of the submarine that we see at the very top that may be distracting for some people as well as the terminal although the terminal i think i think the terminal is like sort of fine where it is i feel like it's just the thing at the top that may be more distracting but yeah this is the blade class submarine mod it's one of the better precursor submarine mods in my opinion i really really like this one and with that we can move on to our next vehicle mod on this list. All right, so the next submarine that we have on today's list is going to be the Abyss class submarine, which is a, you know, very much realistic looking submarine. Looks like something you would see in real life. All the colors and whatnot all look fairly realistic, and it also has that like sort of dirty texture to it. Like it's been getting used for like a really long time. The engine back here is also super detailed with that same worn out texture. The worn out vibe of this submarine sort of, you can see it like all throughout this entire submarine. I really like how they picked a little vibe to stick to for the submarine and just stuck to it all the way through. We got like a spotlight. We got two spotlights on the left and right hand side. Then we have like these two giant lights right here, which look like the big old flashlights. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Now you can find the batteries for these submarines on the back of the submarine. If we look at the very back right here, it says engine one and engine two above it. Nice little label. This thing runs off of two power cells overall, which you know i feel like a little bit off-putting because i feel like this thing is a little bit large enough to where it would probably run have to run half to what did i just say it would probably have to run off of three power cells or something of that nature and the storage is also labeled it says cargo one right here and over here it says cargo two so you know everything is nice and labeled on this submarine making everything really easy to find it's got a massive amount of storage it's got so much storage that you can actually scroll up and down so that's crazy looking on the inside of the submarine again like i said the entire vibe of the submarine it's got that sort of like worn out sort of vibe like it's been being used for a really long time we got this hatch right here which looks like it served as like a little airlock comes with its own fabricator the seat is super detailed it looks just like the seat that the trauma submarine had i believe got some lights the overall interior of the submarine is really well lit you know and this is what it looks like at nighttime it looks really really good in here and the upgrades we have this little upgrade panel right here that we just opened it's got a small little animation and the base step for this submarine is 600 meters now a unique feature that this submarine has over other modded submarines is the fact that you can dedicate your power to do certain things so we got three main valves right here in this submarine. One controls the vertical power, one controls forward power and lateral power. Lateral is side to side, forward is, you know, front and back, and then vertical is up and down. We can increase the amount of vertical power that we, you know, dedicate to the submarine, but if we increase it, the power consumption is going to increase as well. So we'll move faster in all those regards, but we're going to use more energy. And you can do the opposite and make yourself move slower 
but consume a lot less energy if you're low on power. Acceleration, acceleration wise, the submarine is really slow whenever you accelerate, and overall the speed is also really slow, sort of similar to that of the Odyssey submarine. But this one actually, again, makes a little bit more sense for it to be super slow, considering how bulky it looks. Now the cockpit for this submarine may be a hit or miss for a lot of people, because we can see it looks really, really cluttered. It is a little bit distracting, because it looks like I'm wearing a football helmet right now. If I'm t j j just gotta be honest, bro, it looks like I got a football helmet on. So yeah, this is the Abyss submarine, super, super awesome looking. And with that, we can move on to our next submarine mod. All right, so the next vehicle mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Chameleon submarine mod, as this nice looking vehicle mod into the game. The paint scheme of this thing is gonna be like the main feature because there's not much actually going on with the submarine. The primary color of the submarine is white and it just has these like big old orange streaks. But there is a reason for that. And I will show you that reason in a few. We can see some nice attention to detail already with where the lights are coming out of because they're coming out of this little thing right here. It's got a big old fin at the top. So you can, you know, at a first glance, you may think this thing's like a shark or something. Bottom of the submarine has like this little hatch right here. You can't interact with it or anything, but you know, it's just here for, you know, exterior detail, which I can appreciate. In the back of the submarine, we can see where the engines are with one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side, and they're both glowing, super nice. And I believe the back of the submarine is also where you enter it. So looking on the inside, we got four power cells total two on the left hand side two on the right hand side and then we have this nice textured floor that stretches all throughout the submarine so that's really nice to look at an upgrade fabricator the chameleon actually has its own specific vehicle upgrades which is nice when we pilot the submarine it has the same sort of system that the cyclops has with the chameleons like hologram being on the left noise health all that good stuff all over and the main thing that makes the submarine so unique is the fact that it can actually cloak and go invisible so if we look to the right hand side we can see that there's a little eyeball right there with a little no symbol over it so if we just click this it says activate cloaking mode all right, now the inside of the submarine is a little bit blue. And if we head to the cameras, we can actually see the entire submarine is now invisible. And it will stay like this even if you get out of the submarine. So, you know, walking around the submarine is still invisible. We head out here and the submarine is also still invisible, but it is still like easy to see, you know, for us. So you can still like navigate your way back to the submarine which is nice. And because of the super narrow cockpit view that the submarine has, the main way you're gonna be like viewing things around you in the submarine is by using the cameras because the cameras are actually really good on the submarine. The base step of the submarine is 700 meters, which is pretty, pretty good. A pretty good base step for the submarine. And with that, now we can go on to our next vehicle mod. All right, so the next submarine mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Beyblade Precursor Submarine Mod. It's got some really, really nice precursor detailing all over the top bottom and sides of it that we can see and it has a lot less of lights like there's a lot fewer lights on the outside of the submarine and most of the lights on the exterior of the submarine are found near the back where the engine is so we can see like these little line lights back here and then we also have the engines lights that are all super bright and nice looking i really like the way like the front of the submarine looks especially with these like two sharp prongs that are to the left and to the right of the cockpit and then these things back here look like, they look sort of like wings, you know? And it looks like, a, it really gives me like a like a spaceship type of vibe more than it is like a submarine. So if we look on the left and right hand sides of the submarine, we can see like these little circles right here. This is where, this is where, what? This is where you will find your battery and power cells at. So we can unload and load the power cells right here. And then right above that, we can see the upgrades right here, which is highlighted by this little green, these little green lines right here, which is really nice. If we head towards the back of the top of the submarine, see some storage up here as well. So if we look to the left, there is one storage right here, which is vehicle storage number one. It has a ton of storage in it. And if we head over a little bit to the right, there's another storage, which is vehicle storage zero. Moving to the interior of the submarine, we have this big old chair right here, which is what we're gonna sit in. Now you can't walk around in the submarine. So whenever I get in it, it's just gonna teleport me straight into the seat, like it would the Seamoth, but the inside does still have that nice precursor detailing. Nice attention to detail as well. And then if we look to the right, we can see like this little terminal slash panel right here. The submarine has a base step of 300 meters, which is a little less than ideal. Okay, the acceleration is pretty fast as well. Look at that, and zero to like 70 in like two seconds. Precursor light is green as it should be on a precursor submarine. Let's see how fast this thing can go. Okay, the speed on this thing isn't like, it's not like super slow, but it's also not like extremely speedy either. It's kind of like, it's kind of like on the medium fast. I put it on like a medium fast range. 
Yeah, this is the Beyblade class Precursor Submarine mod, and with that, we can move on to our next vehicle mod. All right, so the next vehicle mod on today's list is going to be the Phantom Submarine mod, which is one of the most detailed and high quality submarine mods on the Nexus website. This is Altera Phantom on the side. All this stuff is pretty high resolution as well. That's why I said high quality. We got the engines back here, a nice attention to detail with the fans. And this area back here, you can actually attach your like prawn suit back here. So that's really nice as well. We got this big old fin at the back, sort of sticks up at the top. And then we have the hatch, which is clearly visible at the very top of the submarine. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's like a glitch or whatever, but every time I go underneath the Phantom submarine, it's always like completely black. But we can see it's not black down here. There's some extra detail down here with like these tiny, tiny little fins and stuff. But for some reason, it's always like completely black. The submarine has a base step of 900 meters. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lockers of storage that have some pretty, you know, pretty decent storage overall. It runs off of six power cells that are all found in the back of the submarine. Also nice and detailed back here because you've got some valves right here and here. You can enter your docked vehicle. This is one of the few submarines that actually comes with a bed that you can already sleep in right here. So that's super awesome. We got a fabricator right here and then we have right underneath it where we access our upgrades. And then looking at the actual seat of the submarine, it's also detailed as well because it sort of has like those little, you know, like those giant straps that you put on whenever you're about to like get in a roller coaster or whatever. That's what the seat looks like it has. It's got this big old steering wheel in the middle. Uh, does not look like it moves any faster than this though. So what I'm going at right now looks like it's about the base speed so it is on the more sluggish side as far as like speed goes with submarines so do keep that in mind you can turn fairly quickly with this thing so that is you know that is a plus as well but yeah this is the phantom submarine mod super super awesome vehicle mod it's one of my favorites and with that we can head on to our next vehicle mod on today's list all right so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the altera sea voyager mod which is essentially like a giant freaking tugboat in subnautica now this is actually going to be one of the few submarines on our list that cannot go underwater this one is exclusively like it stays on the surface and whatnot obviously because the way it looks and all that jazz we can see it says sea voyager mark 2 on the side expiration blah 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 and this is a legacy mod uh what is this vehicle dock one vehicle dock two okay so you can dock vehicles on here all right so we got both our vehicles attached so let's just pull them up like so oh, is it coming up oh there it goes it's a nice unique way of docking your vehicles having it like attached to this like giant um crane thingy majiggy all right let's head to the inside of the submarine and let's see what else we got so we have a cockpit right here so we just jump inside this is a really unique submarine in the in, in the basically everything sense because there's no other submarine like this so you don't actually control it by getting getting into like a seat it sort of has like its own autopilot so we can see if there's like a camera down there that's showing us you know whatever is in the environment with and then we can do the sonar map which shows us a little sonar of the you know area around us and whatnot that's super cool and then we got a regional map that shows us you know the entire map of Sonatica essentially shows us where we are so let's just do the forward facing camera look at that there's a little gas pod down there you can see the submarine will just turn left it'll keep turning left but you know it's going to keep doing this unless you click the arrow again we just hit forward and we're moving forward this thing is kind of fast too and then that, look at that this looks awesome actually i really like this okay hold on maybe turn left so let's go forward and let's head outside because i believe yeah it's going to keep moving even while we're doing this because it's like on a sort of autopilot now if we jump out it's going to automatically stop i believe okay uh <laughs> i guess not i don't think this thing actually has power cells itself however it does like recharge from the solar energy from the sun so it sort of just like charges back up on its own we go up here we have like a little loft just a small little area you can build stuff on i'm guessing and we head over to the lower decks down here what the free why is that so long okay so in the lower decks we turn around we have the engine room behind us and then we also have the pilot's cabin in front of us so let's look at the engine room first uh we just open the door that's a nice little door okay so then we look down we have a really nice looking engine down there what does it say warning moving part it surely does the engine does move whenever it's online so that's a really nice attention to detail down here all right so in this engine room we head up there's another loft area so we just head up here and you know we have this little area that sort of overlooks the engine room let's head over to the pilot's cabin see what's in here okay so the pilot's cabin this looks like it's essentially the forward facing camera right here but yeah this is the altera sea voyager mod and with that we can head on to our next mod all righty the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the dad submersible from the sock nautica mod now this is one of the <laughs> one of the 
bigger and bigger submarines. I think this might be this might be bigger than all the other ones. What the heck? So as we can see, that submersible stands for Deep Sea Aquatic Defense Submersible. It also has some what is that? Some freaking Wi-Fi bars. I guess there's some free internet on the inside of the submarine, so that's cool. Uh, I'm sure we can dock our vehicles in this massive beast. Well, the colors are a little bit precursor, but it's also like super futuristic for the Subnautica universe. I guess you can say it, it don't give me no Altera vibes. This is like something else. I'm not sure. All right, so the bottom is where we dock our submarine. I'm not sure where the actual hatch is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Okay, it's got a nice slow opening, like docking animation, which is nice, you know, because all the other, all, all the main docking animations sort of open really fast. So I can appreciate that this one's a little bit slower. Let's just dock our submarine in here. Oh, all right, so it's got 1000 power. I'm guessing this sun right here is how much sunlight the submarine's getting. We got our power right here. Not sure what this is, but I'm guessing this is the health. We got some nice little crates in here, and that's super cool. Nice little detailing on the inside. My game's kind of lagging a little bit. If y'all y'all can't really notice, I got a bit of a frame drop here. Okay, so here are our power cells. We have one, two, three, four, five. Runs off of five power cells. Not too bad considering the size of this thing. I would think, honestly, it runs off of more, but you know, it's okay. So we head up, and we're in this super, super long corridor right here. It's sort of giving me star wars vibes like whenever the rebel the rebel corvette the inside of the rebel corvette and how it's all like white on the inside that's the vibes i'm getting okay and this is i'm guessing this is our nice little room right here oh we got a nice little pad in here oh shoot yeah this is cozy bed this looks like a cozy bed let me hop up in that okay got a little room right here and then this is going to be the bridge i'm assuming it's got a nice little uh like a nice custom steering wheel so that's nice never seen anything like this before oh Okay, hold on. I know we all saw that. That was a cool little animation. Look at that. Look at that. The freaking part of the glass sort of like starts to retract. So it gives you better visibility in the cockpit. I like that. Why don't you go back? Yeah, I like that. That's super cool. All right. All right, so we got self mode. We have a deterrent system. We have a holographic decoy. So let's try the holographic decoy first. Oh my. So it spawns in a bunch of fake creatures, which I'm assuming are, you know, in the event that we're getting chased by something, you can, you can activate this and they'll distract any creatures that are around you. Although that noise is kind of hurting my ears. Let me let's try the deterrent system. What does this do? I'm assuming what it did, I'm, I'm assuming it was just like a big old perimeter defense. Stealth mode, what is that? Okay, so the stealth mode is essentially the Halo cloak. Yeah, the Halo 3 cloak. This mess looks cool, oh my goodness. So this thing had cloak before the chameleon did because the chameleon submarine also has a cloaking device and this one does as well. Now does the cloak stay on when you get out of stealth mode though? Let's see. It surely does, but it also makes it a little bit hard to navigate through the submarine because <laughs> everything is all cloaked. Well, actually, it's not that hard. Yeah, I can sort of see still. Oh, okay. So the cloak can only stay on for a certain amount of time, despite like no matter what, no matter how much power you have in your dad's submersible, the cloak can only stay on for a certain. That's what that little, uh, that's what this is for. Okay. So this is the cloak. That's our health. This is our power. And then how much sunlight we're getting. So that's nice. But yeah, that is the dad submarine mod. And with that, we can move on to our next submarine mod. All right. So the next vehicle mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Beluga submarine mod. So the outside of the submarine is incredibly detailed. It says sci-fi. I said sci-fi. What? It says SCI vessel on the top, which I'm assuming stands for science vessel. We got these big old thingies right here which is where the power cells are actually held whenever we look on the inside you'll see that the entire submarine has that nice altera color scheme the top of the submarine has a nice little like radio mast up here and that's also where the where one of the cameras are i believe as well there's a hatch at the top that you can enter from and there's also a hatch at the bottom so there's two ways you can get inside the submarine this thing has three engines total we have one giant engine on the back and then two on the left and right hand sides of the submarine and there's also two places that you can dock vehicles. So the front little hatch that we see right here, that's where you dock your Seamoth. And then the back one is where you can dock your prawn suit and you can have both vehicles docked at the same time, which is super awesome. Another thing I would like to point out about the exterior is whenever you turn on the interior, not even the interior, just whenever you turn on like the power and lights for the submarine in general, the outside lights like this little ring right here is now lit up as we can see. And these parts are also lit up as well as well as this part with the engine. So inside of the submarine, we can see the entirety of the submarine is very detailed. Everything is nicely textured and whatnot. The floor is textured. You know, the bottom of the submarine is where the power cells are. And this thing runs off of 16 power cells total, which is quite a lot, you know, might be the most out of all the submarines we're gonna look at today. If we went upstairs to the upper deck and we look to the left, we got the bridge over here. We got this really nice railing and it's really, really easy to see everything. Very, very nice visibility that this submarine has as far as as its cockpit goes because not only can you see a lot while you're like in the regular seat right here but even while you aren't in the cockpit there's also like these big old windows right here that you can look out of 
that's really nice. We got our little panel over here where we're going to, you know, like turn on the engine and whatnot of the submarine on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, we got the interior lighting and the exterior floodlights that we can turn on and off. And we also have a hologram of the Beluga submarine as well. This is where our Seamoth would be docked. We keep going and we look to the right. There's also another ladder right here. Leads to another lower deck, almost like a big old storage area that sits like right in the middle of the submarine. So that's really nice. And there's also an upper deck. So if you go past the Seamoth little bay right here and you look up, there's gonna be a hatch. If we click on this hatch, it'll take us to a room that sits above, you know, the entire submarine. You can use this room for virtually anything that you want. Keep going back here. We have the prawn suit bay right here. This hatch leads to the outside of the submarine. And then we also have the engine back here, which as we can see, while it's online, it'll actually move and spin around. And the engine is also very nicely textured, detailed as well. So yeah, overall the Beluga, super, super awesome and detailed submarine. So yeah, this is the Beluga submarine mod. And with that, we can move on to our next submarine mod. All right, so the next submarine mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Sock Tank. Now this is less of a submarine and more of a military you know tank slash vehicle but you know we're gonna see whenever we try to drive it around because right now we're looking at it it's just sinking straight to the bottom because it is a tank after all another really really unique submarine mod because this is one that adds like an entire like military-esque vehicle into the game that actually has a weapon on it that you can fire and whatnot which is super awesome we can already see the power cells are on the outside i'm pretty sure yeah, we got a one power cell two and there's there are two more on the back okay so this thing runs off of two power cells so that's nice and a nice little color scheme nice detailing it says sock tank on the side and it sort of has the same like symbols and vibes as the dad submersible so that's nice nice little detail there and the light seems to be coming out of the barrel of the tank as well as the two these two front lights right here so that's nice okay so this submarine can like you can fly up and hover around in this submarine but you have to hold space oh wow okay if i look down there's a whole panel in front of me so we have a harpoon system that's interesting uh, i'm guessing that's our torpedoes let's fire oh oh i thought the, 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 the torpedoes are explosive now that's no watch out watch out bone shark hold the phone i don't think you have to yeah these torpedoes automatically come back on their own so that's super awesome spawn reaper leviathan hey yo reaper what's good with you hit him again hit him again what you gonna do against a tank sir what you gonna do against the tank oh the missiles are the torpedoes are heat seeking as well yep they're tracking him those are homing torpedoes now that is what we like to see Look at the Reaper running away in shame and fear. Get back here. Hit him again. Ah, uh, uh, give him the treatment. Give him the hits. Yep, target eliminated. Let's try the harpoon out. Let's see, what's this harpoon talking about? Oh, okay, so it's almost like a grappling hook for the tank. That's super awesome. Hold on, let me try that. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we're reeled in. So we release. So when you hit something with the harpoon, if you're hitting, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to shoot a fish with it. But whenever you hit like the ground or something like that, It'll stay right there and then you can release the mouse button to reel yourself in, like so. You can sort of just swing yourself around, so that's super nice, I like that. Oh, I just blew up the sea, <laughs> I just blew up the sea moth trying to reel it in, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me let me, let me me show you a little instant replay on that. All right, let me click this. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. It's one of the more uh, lethal submarines, I will say, that we have on our modded submarine list, our modded vehicle list, because <laughs> this is one of the few submarines that comes with a giant freaking weapon that does a whole bunch of damage. But yeah, super awesome mod, really, really like this one. And with that, we can move on to our next submarine mod. All right, coming in at the number one spot for what I think is the best vehicle mod in Subnautica, and despite the Beluga, you know, being out and whatnot, I think that the SEAL, it's still, you know, one of the best vehicle mods for Subnautica. This thing is incredibly massive, a really wide submarine overall. It does not have that same, like, Altera color scheme that the Beluga had. The engines back here are incredibly detailed, as we can see. Got these big old fans, and they stretch. A, they're, they're pretty pretty lengthy as well. It almost looks like a, like a big old rocket ship, if I'm being completely honest with you. It, it, like, it looks just like a rocket ship, spaceship, or something of that, of that general nature. We have a hatch on the top. That's where we enter. Got this nice railing over over here at the top nice attention to detail again and you can enter the submarine from two ways you can either enter it from the rear where the like vehicle bay is or you can enter it from the top where the hatch is all right so another neat feature about the seal submarine is that whenever you dock vehicles in it it actually has a really unique animation so if we dock the seamoth in this thing it's gonna pull us in and now if we hop out we can see that all this like electricity is sort of like holding the vehicle together i guess in like a magnetic fashion which is super awesome instead of just like deploying your vehicle regularly like you know any other modded submarine would whenever you get out of the seal in a vehicle 
it'll actually shoot your vehicle out a little bit as we heard that like super loud noise it shoots your vehicle out a little bit giving you a nice little boost whenever you're going back out into the water which is you know really really nice little feature the floor of the submarine is super textured in this area as well the floor walls everything about this area it shows like what vehicle you have docked right here the floor has this nice little drain in the middle where the water would probably go and then there's also an upgrade fabricator right here oh seeing some glitches going on i don't know what that is seal has its own upgrade fabricator mark one depth module mark two mark three solar charger thermal charger and also a speed module so if we head straight ahead we're going to be in the engine room but another cool thing about the submarine is that the doors are separated or the rooms are separated with sliding doors which you know something not all submarines have so this engine room is incredibly massive and it's also super detailed in here so we can see this thing runs off of one two three four five so 10 power cells total the Beluga still beats it with its 16 power cells that it runs off of. But we can see we have the big old engine right here that sort of like glows. And if we look up and around, we got all these different pipes and valves and, all, and stuff just all over the place that resembles an engine room. Got a little open here hatch that you can't interact with. The mod creators did a really good job with, you know, making this entire room actually feel like an engine room. So I really, really like this one. It might be my favorite looking engine room out of every modded submarine in the game so far. Yo, my Seamoth is having some trouble back there. So if we continue this next room, this is like the little area where the hatch is. So you just come down this ladder and then you're in this room right here and you can build anything you want in this submarine, which is gonna be another really big unique thing that I'm about to show you in a second. So we got these nice windows right here separating this room, we head through. Now in this big room right here, both on this floor and the floor that's above it, you can actually build, you can build the larger interior modules like the nuclear reactor, the alien containment, bioreactor, et cetera, in here. And there we go. Now we have a big old alien containment. We can connect these two if we want. Oh no, we can't actually, never mind, muffle. This is the only modded submarine where you can do something as crazy as this, you know, build these giant modules inside. Oh, okay, the game's glitching out. Okay, uh, that's okay. My game is going through a little bit of a glitch right now because we can see like the water is still like a little bit visible. So if I like walk through, I could just kind of, I could just like swim through the alien containment. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or what, but yeah, the fact that you can put these giant modules in your submarine is super, super awesome. And if we continue through the next room, we will be in the bridge area over here so we can see we have the giant little um i keep saying giant little so we can see we have the big old steering wheel right here which is the exact same one that the cyclops has and this one also has a very similar like layout to the cyclops whenever you get in this so you look to the left to turn on the engine and all that good stuff and the base step for the submarine is 800 meters which is really good this submarine also comes with its own scanner room which is you know it can use this thing at any time at the lunar scanner right here however this little thing where like you would click for the cameras doesn't work just have it just have it then we have the scanner upgrades right here if you look to the left of the fabricator that's where you put your scanner room upgrades and then if we head up here we have another little room where you can build maybe like a bedroom up here or something there's a bunch of different spaces that you can build there's a lot of room to build in the steel submarine which is why it's my favorite submarine marine because you can essentially do whatever you want with it without any sort of restraints but yeah that was the seal submarine mod coming in at number one for my favorite subnautica vehicle mod you know and out of all the subnautica vehicle mod <laughs> can't speak out of all the subnautica vehicle mods that we have available if you had a different opinion on where you think some of these vehicles should be ranked on this list feel free to let us know in the comments below because i feel like that could be like an interesting conversation to have but other than that that has been all i had for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see you on the next one Peace.